Hi guys, today I would like to share with you how to estimate the cost of equity of a company listed on stock exchange using the Pharma French three factor model. So our company of interest today is ExxonMobil and it is listed on New York Stock Exchange. So I jump onto Yahoo Finance and get a historical price on historical data here. So on this page you have um, the monthly return on share price, uh, just the monthly share price over the last five years from 2021 to 2016, 15 and you can choose the frequency as monthly or daily click apply and download the file you also need to get a dividends of the corresponding period and lastly you can download the uh, Fama French 3 factor model on Kent's French data library here I'm using the Pharma French North American 3 factor monthly which is this one not the daily so after that you can go to the excel file here as you can see um, we have the original share price on Yahoo Finance but we only need to care about the date and the closing share price you have to add a new column called dividend just uh, add the dividend in and then to calculate the share return you have to use this formula which is the share price at the end of the month um, let's any, uh, subtract the share price at the, of the previous month at any dividend and subtract it by the share price of the previous month copy this formula and apply it to all the other cells and you also need to express the return on share price in percentage so you times 100 and copy this column onto our three factor model so the column is over here as you can see I only choose the period uh, which is five monthly over the last five years according to my need from the Pharma French original file so you have the three factor and then you have to calculate the assets return on share price which is the return on share price less the risk free rate and now we need to run the regression so click data data analysis regression and choosing the y range which is the excess return on share price and the three factor which is uh, market uh, the size and value click labels if you do have labels over the top and choose the output range I choose um, the output range on the same page so that we can easily see our result click OK so here are the three coefficients of our interest the p-value is quite significant they are all below 5% um, significant level except for but if you look at the beta of size it is larger than 1% significant level so it depends on your chosen significant level so to estimate the cost of equity we have the risk free rate plus the market beta times expected return on market uh, plus the size beta which is and times the expected SMP portfolio and plus the value beta with this one times the expected return on HML portfolio so that's it guys thank you for watching